lost my mind. Hey, we want you part of Rumble. It's in two weeks, and I go, okay, I haven't worked out in five years. You guys want to do a triple kiss? Uh, Tori goes, no. Vince's devil's idea. Was it that Vince's was idea? No. <laughs> We're not allowed to use it anymore. They banned it? I'm going to pee my pants. I'm going to pee my pants. My dream match is And I pulled her aside, and I go, oh, my God, you need to go to WWE. I'm going to beat the hell out of you. Welcome to Entering the Bell. This is DS, and I am here, back again with the legendary, the future Hall of Famer, Victoria Lisa Marie Verone. I love you, DS <laughs> Shin. DS Shin, we love you. Thank actually, you. we actually love you. Our interview with you, still to this day, after all the Hall of Famers, the current Raw Women's Champion, <laughs> you're still the highest view. Are interview. you serious? Yeah. From Chicago or the Molly Holly? The one with Molly Holly. Oh, at the Wrestling Guy Store. Mm -hmm. Who I'm with at with the Wrestling Guy Store here at RuPaul's Drag Con. If you're not here. Shame on you. <laughs> this is my favorite convention. And I'm here at Kimura's booth because she's always late, so I just figured that I could use her booth. There is no sign of Kimura anywhere. Where is she? I finally made it. Now what? Today we're doing something special. I okay. did this huge survey with all the women's wrestling fans, and I asked them tons of questions about Victoria, and I got over 6,300 responses. <laughs> They love you. They love you. They love you. <laughs> you get more hits than I do. No. What am I doing wrong? Your job today is to guess what they answered on each okay. question. Okay, 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 I'm ready. So let's start. From, okay. Let's start from the easy question. Okay. Face or heel? Which Victoria do fans love more? Heel Victoria. Mm. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't like being a baby face. Really? I was not good at it. Um, I, I still, when I watch that, I cringe. You know, I was bigger than the other girls. It's easy to be a bully when you're bigger. Being a heel is so much easier. To get someone to hate you is very easy. Mm. To get people to love you, is it's very difficult. And if you're a good baby face, unbelievable. But it takes a good heel to get that baby face uh, over. I don't know. I was at home doing that choreo. Oh, no, no, see, I do, I, you know that, you know that. I right. love doing that. So the answer is, you were correct. 95% heel. Wow, 5% actually like face? I thought it was going to be like 98%. They were the gays like me that was dancing in the room too. Okay, 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 yeah. You appreciated my goofiness then. I mean, it's kind of crazy because now I know how lovely and caring you are. So like, you're such a good heel. I think it's baffling like when people are afraid to meet me and I'm like, that whole character is not me at all, you guys. You would think it's bipolar. But the psycho character, that was so legendary. Yes, that was an easy character to do because you can't, you can't go wrong. Oh. You can go, like, they can tell you to back off a little bit, mm -hmm. but if you're not giving enough, that's a problem. Oh. You know what I mean? So I always did. I, I never asked Stevie Richards. I was supposed to bite his ear, but I ended up licking him <laughs> his face. Uh. Oh, no, no, I was supposed to just, I don't know what else, maybe okay. just kiss him or something. <laughs> And I ended up biting it. I got so into my character, I was like, I'm gonna go crazy. You know, watching yeah. movies, you know, paranormal and stuff like that <laughs> helped me a lot. So speaking of the psycho character, because you're so legendary with it, there are a couple other psycho characters that came after you. What do you think fans favorite after yours? Okay. We've got AJ Lee, Alicia Fox, Mickey James, and Nikki Cross. You know we got you guys, we know we have God TV show. It's on YouTube. YouTube.com slash God TV show. <laughs> Grown ass women talking nonsense basically. I have to go with Mickey James. Like I just did an appearance with her in Liverpool. My God, she's super over. Ooh, that's hard between her and AJ. Oh yeah. So what do they say? I'm Let's dying, see. I'm dying. Let's see. Mickey James, Yay! 57%. I was actually surprised. It was landslide almost. Yes. I'm a grown ass woman, y'all. Do you know the lyrics now? I, I, <laughs> I, at home when I'm like, I have it as a background music, I can sing it. But when I'm like in the moment, I don't remember. <laughs> And I listen to it like, practically every day. How the hell? <laughs> Have you worked with Alicia Fox? Oh, I love her. Oh, yeah. oh my God, the sweetest thing ever. Drop Dead Gorgeous. Um, just so fun and just spontaneous. And, and crazy like us. Have you met her too? I actually have not. I'm dying to meet Alicia Fox. Oh, Alicia dying. Fox, if you're listening. Please. Yeah, we can't, we, she hasn't even been on our show. Yeah. She's yeah. enjoying her life. I think so. Yeah. I think when you're like, sometimes people need to step away a little bit mm -hmm. to get life and perspective and get like, what's my passion now? Right. It's, yeah. it's hard to find that niche that gives wrestling when you're a wrestler, Val says it perfectly, it's like Hotel California, you can check in, but you can't check out. 
You say you're going to retire. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. You're never out. But you know what? Like what Michelle McCool once said, she's loving life. Alicia Fox is loving life right now. Yes. So let her love life. <laughs> yes. But I want to have her on the show because she's into crystals, smudging, oh. and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, I'm intrigued by that. The last couple of years, we've seen a lot of comparison between you and Sonia Deville when she went a little psycho too. Have you seen those footage? I have. I did get that on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And... Instagram and it's I'm flattered. It's flattering when people emulate you. It's flattering. You know what I mean? Because they're like, oh, Victoria used to do that. When they remember you, it's a good thing. When they start forgetting about you mm -hmm. is when you need to worry. Have you worked with Sonia? I know her, but mm -hmm. I've never, no, no, oh. no, I know. I think that'll be interesting. She's gorgeous yeah. though, but I'm very flattered by that. <laughs> I'm never insulted when someone's like, oh, she took your move or it reminds me of Victoria. And I'm like, oh, wow, it was nice. I don't care. Nice. I loved it. Next question is actually really difficult. Best theme song. We've got all the things she said, two versions of Don't Mess With, and we've got amazing TNA theme, Broken. Oh, that's an easy one. That's a difficult one. It's my tattoo. Oh. Yes, I've lost my mind. Over Nicki Minaj? Well, I think people appreciated that song yeah. after the fact that they knew, they oh my god, Nicki Minaj, but she wasn't Nicki Minaj You're at right. that time. Of course, I'm flattered. I love that song. I'm not bearing any song. I was very, one of the lucky wrestlers that got really good music. Over I, and over. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I was really lucky and I didn't have any, I didn't have any input. Tattoo is like, yeah. yeah. And then when I came back to the Rumble, I wasn't allowed to use it because we, they only used it for the copyright oh, for a year. Right, 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 right. Oh, got it. So I, get, I think it's money. Got I don't it, know. Got it, yeah. got it. Let's see what yeah. the fans said. It is all the things she said. 61%. You're right. I told you. You're right. Next question is, you had so many great hardcore moments that is so memorable. So what is fans' favorite hardcore moment? Steel cage match with Lita. Steel chair shot to Trish Stratus. Oh. Tooth being chipped at Survivor Series 2002. And shaving Molly Holly bald. <laughs> Which one? Okay, what people say their favorite match is mm. 2002 Survivor Series against oh. Trish Stratus. Okay. I don't think people realize I chipped my tooth on that. I always tell them okay. I broke my nose and chipped my tooth on that catapult yeah. at Trish she reversed it the trash can is a real trash wow. can snapped back in my face wow. my eyes started watering oh my God. and it was awful but it's just the chip and tooth part is that the only part you yeah. you asked yeah. see survivor series is like their number one i'm gonna mm. say molly holly shaving the head mm. Oh, let's yeah, see, he let's, already knows the uh, answer. Uh, I, I didn't do, want to I look do, at I you. Do. Let's see what they said. Okay. I was surprised. I was surprised. Steel chair shot to Trish Stratus. Very close with steel cage. Yeah. Wow. You're not trained to use the steel cage. I mean, start a steel chair, right? So they don't say you have to hold it this way. You have to hold it by the legs and backwards. I held it upside down and backwards where the lip of the chair underneath mm -hmm. could have cut her and split her open. And they were like, oh, you held the chair wrong. And I go, I did? I go, I just grabbed the chair and, and hit it. I didn't know there was a proper way for safety reasons. Thank God that chair shots to the head are not legal anymore. Yeah. That is kind of, you know what I mean? I was scared. You're scared. You don't really want to hurt your opponent. Right. You know, you have the best matches with your best friends. That's why we had such good angles with all the people I... I was close yeah. friends with, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, wow, okay. Those hardcore matches, you guys, you guys think they're my favorites? It's so much that can go wrong, Diaz. Mm. It's like, it's scary, it's not fun. Like the fun ones are like, okay, I can have fun, you know, and laugh out there, the costumes, that kind of stuff. Well, and, we're gonna um, talk about that. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, those are fun. The ones that are serious, you're just like, please God, I don't wanna get hurt, I don't want my opponent to get really hurt, then you're out of work. Yeah. But you know what's really interesting, and a lot of people don't know about this. You started out your career pretty hardcore with the Godfathers, oh. Yeah, going through the table. <laughs> table, you had a whole like protest segment. Yes. You had a whole Eddie Guerrero like shower segment. Like you had a really big role for a hoe. That, I know. I think, okay, his um, they were looking for two permanent hoes. Mm -hmm. And um, I met the wife, um, Godfather's ex-wife, mm -hmm. and she got along with us. And oh. so I think she had to do the okay. She I don't chose know. I don't, you. I don't know, but I, I really don't know. <laughs> this is what I heard later. And um, when they were gonna do the table, I don't know why, mm -hmm. but they told Godfather to throw me extra hard through the table because they didn't think I can break it. And I go, oh. you know, I was muscular. So muscle weighs more than fat, you know? And I said, I think I weigh more than Spike Dudley. I really do. I thought, I'm muscular. You guys, you know, you guys might think I weigh 135. I was 155, 160. Oh. Okay, solid. Like, you know, not anymore. Nope. Not anymore. But they, he threw me extra hard. He still apologizes to this day about it. <laughs> you had a segment where you were on the hospital bed. <laughs> yes. And then here, me volunteering to go through the table 
took me t off TV, which I didn't know was going to happen. But then I came back as a full-fledged wrestler. They probably loved that what you did there, probably, right? Yeah, I got a lot of respect out of that. Right. I remember Undertaker coming back, wow, do you owe him money? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Now, let's go to the fun part. Okay. So you had a lot of very memorable Halloween outfits. Yes. What do you think was fan favorite? Good I job. think people know what my favorite was, so... Well, what's, okay, what's, what's, what's the choices? So if you got baseball player, banana, <laughs> and sumo wrestler. Sumo wrestler. <laughs> and I did that character. That outfit was actually the ones you rent for parties and have sumo <laughs> fights. You know what I mean? They're really oh, heavy. Really? Yeah. I did that, you guys. So I didn't think the girls can lift me up and eliminate me. So I thought for shoot, I knew the girls want to be sexy. Yeah. I go, let me be the comedy. I'm always the funny one backstage anyways. I'm a ribber. I like... I'm a jokester, You're you know, so I'm, not, yeah. I'm not serious, yeah. you know, and I was like, I'm going to do the sumo, they're not going to be able to lift this, and it took them two <laughs> people, and they right. were laughing, Mickey James, they were all twirling me, and they were almost, I'm going to pee my pants, I'm going to pee my pants, and the referee goes, she needs to be eliminated, you need to eliminate her, but they're laughing, and I'm like, you guys, you need to eliminate me, you need to eliminate, I was so worried about the time, <laughs> and I was like, they were cracking up, Fit Finley goes, oh, you should go fall down the ramp, and I go, I'm going to do it, and he goes, are you, and I go, Maybe I fell. Yeah, you I did, did it. You did. Uh, yeah, yes. One of my favorite matches by far. <laughs> I love it's that. one of my number one. <laughs> wow. Because it was fun. <laughs> the, it, matches are about fun. Well, the fans agreed. It was a sumo wrestling. Sixty-five percent. You. you have so much fun out there. I still remember all your dances during bikini contest, and you did this dance yesterday. I did. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm at RuPaul Drag Con, right? So I'm doing my here, boom, boom, and I did the Roger Rabbit and you know, the Running Running Man, and RuPaul was doing it with me on the stage and I go, oh my God, right, Justice? Oh my God, RuPaul's doing the same moves. I fangirled out, right? Even but RuPaul I did it. these, yeah. people didn't think I was gonna do that. The girls are like, oh my God, oh my God, she's really gonna do it. I didn't care, you know what? I, you know, someone has to make an ass out of themselves. And then for me to pop every, the, like my coworkers, we try to do that all the time, make them react. Right, right. You know, it's about the fans, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but to, when you make them laugh, they when were they have to it. cover their hair and laugh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I don't care. I had I had a great time, and I'm I'm 80s chick. So hip hop, old school dancing yeah. is my thing. Next one's kind of a difficult question. Okay. Who is Victoria's best partner? We've got Stephen Richard, Tori Wilson, and Candice Michelle, Natalia, Brooke Tessmacher. Okay. Tori and Candice together. What I'm gonna think, what fans are gonna say, is mm. Natalia because she's still current. Okay. Mm. She's still on TV, so she's she's awesome, by right. the way. And but it was such short lived. I'm gonna go with um, Tori and Candace. We were best friends. Like, I, I was always close with all my people, right? right. But Tori, Candace, and myself traveled together. We still talk to this day. Yeah. You know, we went to Liverpool and we did a Beatles tour, and we're very close and we're like sisters. And so I'm gonna go with that. Let's see what the fans okay. said. Tori and Candace, oh, oh 54. God. You're very God. good at this. Oh. That's how much you're connected with the fans. The only thing, what did I get wrong so far? Hardcore moment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the hardcore, uh, the chair, okay. I'm actually curious though, how did you kissing Candace during the entrance started? Uh, okay, they wanted more sexiness. Oh. They wanted more sexiness. Like, hey, don't forget you guys are girls. We started wrestling too much like the guys. Remember your girls, we, you know, sex sells and stuff like that. I know it's PG-13. But um, I go, hey, do you guys want to do a triple kiss? Tori goes, no. <laughs> I'm not kissing you guys. Are you kidding me? No, I don't she want to. This is the Chloe, the and dog. And she goes, I'll kiss Chloe. I'll kiss Chloe. And the Candace goes, I'll do it. So I thought it was going to be too much sexiness that they were like, okay, that was a little too much. It caught on. Uh, Thank goodness Candace is a good kisser. <laughs> and then we still did it. We did it in Liverpool as I our entry. It. We did a panel. So, um. Yeah, yeah, it's we we loved it. it. We were so close, my goodness. And how did Vince's Devil's idea came about? Was it, it Vince's was idea? Th no. Oh no. <laughs> it was our idea. We were not getting booked together for a while, and then we all had the same outfit. We happened. We didn't go shopping for mm -hmm. the same outfit. I got this outfit. Oh my God, I have it too. Tori goes, I have it too. We all dressed alike <laughs> backstage, and say Vince. We went to Vince, going, Hey, look at us. We got booked on that night. And, oh. then, and so Candace came up. I think Candace was the one that's like, let's call us Vince's Devils. We only that. used it on that one, and then we're not allowed to use it anymore. They banned it? Hey, don't use that term. It wasn't okay. We didn't oh. okay it. So it wasn't like official. We just plugged it in. You know, it's always great to ask for forgiveness than permission. And so we used it once, but it's still hashtag to this yeah, day. Yeah, I love that story I did too. so much. Me too, we had so much fun. Oh my God. <laughs> now, let's talk about, we're gonna go into the rumble territory because you made, you know I cried, right? Did you? When that happened. Oh, what? What? Oh, 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 what
A lot of fans, they filmed the reaction, and I watched it once. I can only watch it once. It, wow. Yeah. So emotional. I was crying too. James Manfield, look at it in the house. Look at this. This is one of my favorite uh, drag, drag queens. queens. Hi, Victoria. Yeah. Lisa Hi, Marie baby. Ferran. Hi, baby. You look beautiful. I didn't mean to crash your interview. No, you can crash anytime. And this is for DS's channel, so I can do this. Demonetized. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's tried to do that before. <laughs> I mean, what was it like walking in there? Uh, first of all, let's start from getting that call. They called me two weeks before. I didn't yeah. answer. I saw the 203 area code, and I go, this is Connecticut. Wait, what did I do? Did I, did I post something I'm not supposed to post? I got scared. I was like, we only get called something, I don't, bad, or, hey, you're getting transferred to SmackDown, or you're being transferred to Raw. And so I didn't answer, and I was like, let me wait. I was running errands, and I can't focus either. Okay. Like, to drive and talk. I got to be, I had to park on the side. Right. I called Mickey and, and SoCal Val. I got, my God, WWE called me. They are like, probably it's about the rumble. And I was like, you should call back. And I go, oh, I'm not ready. I call back. They're like, hey, we want you part of rumble. It's in two weeks, and I go, oh okay, I haven't worked out in five years. <laughs> no fake nails, no Botox. I'm not, like, I didn't feel Victoria. Mm. There were no red extensions. You know, that was a... Braden. I was scared because oh. I, I didn't want to disappoint the fans mm. to say, wow, she doesn't look the same as she does. I didn't have gear. I didn't have boots. So by Jolene, at by Jolene made my gear in two days. I said, make it a turtleneck. And I, I go, I don't want, you know, I'm 51. Make it a little age appropriate. I don't want my butt hanging out that much. Long sleeves. You know, I don't, I don't have the guns anymore. I'm a little heavier. Damn COVID. I didn't want the fans to be disappointed. I was puking all day. Couldn't eat. I was so freaking nervous. I was super sick. I mean, not sick flu. Yeah. I was so nervous. I get, wow. I get so nauseous, nervous belly. I had to be by myself. I had to go outside a lot and go, oh my God. And Tori made me eat. She goes, you need to eat something. I go, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. And then Mickey had to pull me aside. You're a freaking legendary. You're Victoria. Give them what you want. And I had to ask them, what's my repertoire? What do I do in the ring? When they went to rehearsals, they tell you your number and uh, who's like me in the ring with you. Okay. I haven't watched in a long time. So I was like, oh my God, I had to do my research a little bit. Hey, Victoria's number 10. And I go, oh, maybe they did it. My birthday's on the 10th. I don't know. I was reading into it. They're like, let her do all the things she does. Mm -hmm. You let her get her shit in. Oh, I and as that. I start crying, I'm like, oh my, oh my God, oh my God. And I was like, I get my shit in, oh my God, oh my God. You just feed, feed for her, feed her. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was gonna be so long. I was blown up. I was not in shape. You can't get in well, ring shape know. in two weeks. Oh, oh yeah. I was blown up. Wow. I told um, Naomi, powder me out. And she's like, you're not supposed to get eliminated. I go, just underneath. And I go, and the camera guys, are you okay? And I go, oh my God, I'm too old. I'm old. I'm like, I can't get ready this fast. It was really emotional. I was crying. I just, I wasn't confident. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. But it was, it was amazing though. Wow. It was amazing. Yeah. I didn't tell Tori. She goes, oh my God, I hate you. You didn't tell me you're going to be here. I didn't tell anybody. Wow. I didn't tell my family. I didn't want it out. Wow. Because you want someone to know your business, you tell somebody. Right, right, right. And so I wanted it to be a surprise. And thank you for all the fans that filmed your reaction and sent it to me. I appreciate it. Victoria W E V E fan on Instagram. Thank you. I loved your gear, by the way. I Thank didn't know you, it was just made. I wore it the last two days of RuPaul. I wore, that's my way I wear it at Comic-Cons. Right. But three days in a row. <laughs> and we're also matching today. So I I'm know. I'm kind of I into know. it. Yeah. Really? I asked the fans what their favorite Victoria gear is. No options. Free for all. Oh. What do you think fans' favorite gear of yours is? Well, the Rumble's my favorite now. Oh, but okay. But there was one that was a red onesie and it had a Black Widow cut out. Like mm. that, I think they're gonna go with the red. What okay. do you think? Okay, tell me. There were three that that was mentioned a lot. So let's okay. look through it. This one, the oh, pink one. Oh, that was when I was babe, like when I first started. Right. That was store bought. Oh, really? Yeah, at a stripper store. <laughs> yeah, what? yeah. That was in the game too. Yes. Right. Go figure. <laughs> that was my cheapest, probably my cheapest uh, gear. You know, we're all on a budget, you guys. This one. Wow. Okay. Very sexy. That was um was I did I that in the Rumble? No, this was on a, on Raw. Wow. Yeah. Actually, that it, yeah, I like that. I only wear it once. Yeah, okay. And then okay. your last Oh, that my retirement run. Yeah, retirement match. and my debut in TNA. That's, oh, God, I forgot about that, you guys. I would have said that one. These are what the fans yeah. like. Yeah, <laughs> But yeah. I like the one you're talking Yes. It's, yeah. My Rumble one the is Rumble. really nice. The Rumble, I really it's like It's comfortable. Rumble People are kind of disappointed that it was not in front of a live audience. No, I'm glad, you guys. It was... I don't care. I came back to WWE. I was in the Rumble. I got to face amazing women. This freaking... They are freaking amazing athletes now. 
I could not, they could run circles around me. If it was a live audience, I mean, I think they wanted me to have the pop. I think it was perfect because I was so nervous and I haven't wrestled in years. I liked it. And then uh, you'll see a moment, because I never seen mm -hmm. what it looked like. Whoa, so yeah. I came out and I stopped and I looked and I go, wow, this is cool. You can actually see faces out there. They all like, oh, you look really nervous. Of course I was nervous. But as soon as my music hits, I go in that zone. I'm Got like, it. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. <laughs> on that Royal Rumble, you hit your Widow's Peak on Peyton Royce. Yes. But uh, there's two wrestlers that's currently using Widow's Peak, Peyton Royce, Cassie Lee, and also AEW's Abaddon. Who do you think, oh. who did the fans think do it better? Oh my gosh. Okay, because I am getting a lot of people coming up to me, you should go to AEW. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say AEW because that's most comments I get is like, when are you gonna go to AEW? Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you think yeah. Abaddon? Yeah. Let's oh God, see. I don't know. It is Cassie. Peyton Roy's Cassie. Wow, okay. Have you seen her do Windows Peak? Yeah, of course what I have. What do you think? I was happy. Yeah. She actually reached out to me and asked oh. like, Oh, she, right? she reached yes. out? Yes, yes, and asked if she can Oh, use wow. It. Yeah. DM me, would you be okay with it? And I go, I don't own it. I go, you know what? You go for it. If you can do it, do it. I don't own the headlock. You no, know? but Wait. it's Widow's Peak, though. It's I know. the most iconic women's Thank finisher. Thank you, Roderick Strong. <laughs> I stole it from Roderick Strong. Victoria was looking for a new finisher, and um, I showed it to her. So as the owner of the coolest finisher of all for women's wrestling, what's the women's finisher that you thought was really cool? It's going to go back to... Um, Shimmer, she did the stunner off the top rope with the flip. Ember Moon Athena. Eclipse. I love you, girl. <laughs> I love you. That is freaking amazing. You're right. I saw that at any show. I saw her at AEW perform, and she did that, and I go, oh, my God. And I pulled her aside, and I go, oh, my God, you need to go to WWE. Yeah, I gave her my phone number, and I was like, if you have any questions, please call me. I love that girl. Love her. Love her. So talented. So talented. We've got two more questions. Which, this okay. is a, I love this question, actually. So dream match against a current star. Who do you think the fans have picked? Oh! <laughs> Bianca. Ooh. You know, I think the fans are gonna say Charlotte. Bianca or Charlotte? Charlotte, I'm gonna go with Charlotte. <laughs> Let's see what Maybe because I knew her, she was with a little kid coming backstage and with Ric Flair oh. all the time. So she was a little girl. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, what did they say? They said Bianca Belair, 16%. Oh my God. Followed by Bailey, 13%. Oh, I love her. Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Charlotte oh. Flair. Wow. You went with the Bianca wow. first. I did, I did. <laughs> What's well, your pick All though? these, no, they're all good. You know, I met Bailey. I met her when she was like, she came to my restaurant. She came to my restaurant and I go, oh my God, it's my first time meeting you. She goes, I actually met you twice before oh. in line when she was like 12 years old, I'm gonna be a diva when I grow up. Oh my God. So she came in line when I was with Maven and Edge in California and she goes, I'm gonna be a diva. You hear that from so many kids. Wow. She actually became a deep, a, you know, wrestler, WWE wrestler. I didn't know And this. she wanted to take all my moves at the Rumble. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. And I'm like, here, take my move. Do the spinning sidewalk spiderweb. Has it, how has not anybody wow. taken that move? I know, that's the coolest move. Crash Holly gave me that. So Bailey, because there's so much she backstory. She was a little kid. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Not to bury everybody else. Yeah. I love everybody else, but Bailey, just because it's a little bit. Now that I know the backstory. She can, she can beat the girl she grew up watching. I love that. And then the last question we have is that I think it's universally accepted that you need to be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'm going to riot if it doesn't happen soon, so WWE better make it happen. But, I mean, you don't have to answer this now because you still have time to think. But who do you think fans chose as a person who should be- Would induct me? Yeah, who should induct you. Oh my gosh. This is a recommendation list, yeah. official recommendation list. I'm gonna say either Trish, Vince's Devils, Candice and Tori, Michelle McCool, Mickey James. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Let's see say? what they say. Oh my God. Tori Wilson, oh. 20 more percent, followed by Candice Michelle Oh, see, the Vince's Devils. So you are right. I would love yes. to see Vince's Devils reunion Re at Hall of Fame. Me too. Me too. I love Honestly, we went to go support her together. You know, we were so proud. One of our sisters right. made it. But, you know, it's not my decision to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. You guys know this. I appreciate you guys' fans wanting to see me. You know, it, it means a lot to me, but you never know. You know, life isn't over. I'm only 51. You know, in all of our hearts, you're already Hall of Famer. Thank you. You are. I love you. I love you too. Aww. Tuned in to ring the bell, baby. Thank you so or much. Or get Widow's Peak. <laughs> 
Yes. Yes. What's the last message you have for the fans? Um, you know what? I'm not going to tell you to follow me on anything because everybody's plugging in their own stuff. I just want to say thank you for all the love and support. Honestly, it means a lot to us. You have no idea. Um, and the stories don't get old when you guys go like, oh, I remember this. I remember that. It doesn't get old. And I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support for my entire career. 